tell me why this film, why, what, what, what twisted mind here came up with all of this? And... Well, so, so there's, there's two parts of that question. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to touch it. I tried, tried, I tried to take it. Um, yeah, to, to do this. So, uh, so it, Mike came up with the original idea. So you can talk to him about that. But what drew me to it is, um, I I love the idea of mascots going crazy, um, and I love roadside attractions. Uh, uh, I don't know who here plays video games, but years and years ago, there's a game from LucasArts called uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road. And it was about this 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 uh, dog guy in a suit and a rabbity thing, and they freelance police and they ran around to solve crimes and in this uh, in this game they went to roadside attractions and tried to find Bigfoot and it was crazy and it was wacky and it affected me in ways that I, I can't even explain so when I read Mike's script about this crazy roadside attraction with weird Bigfoot monsters I was like well I have to make this yeah it was just it was a match made in heaven for me yeah I'm going to skip producer and go right over to the Twisted Mind that created it. Where did, where did the Twisted uh, idea come from? Oh, it was super easy. Uh, I practically did no work at all. It came to me all in a dream. <laughs> I like that. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun. And it practically wrote itself. And um, it just kind of developed from there. And then I uh, took it, did some drafts, and took it to Matt and Andy got involved. We just kind of all networked it and noted it up and made it the best it could be. Okay, but so... Did you know these guys prior, or is it? I mean, so how how did we how did we get the gang together? Okay, it's a, it's a good gang. I actually went to school, University of Arizona, with both Woo Matt yeah. and Allison, and we all had this really nice close knit group. We all came out to L.A. You know, you know, you know, you network, you you, you have a good uh, support system. Matt and Andy actually did a, a short film together back in two thousand seven. Did not play dance with film. Six. Did, did you submit it? See. <laughs> so, so they work together, then we work together, and it's just one of those LA things where you just all network together and you try to do as much as you can do with with, with good people that you work well with. So, as as the producer, then did you bring in the rest of them besides mm -hmm. Allison, who you already knew? You know, and we know Allison too. Yeah, yeah. Allison's best. Uh, basically, uh, you know, I mean, you saw in the credits, there's like eight million people that work on a movie, and it just. I swear you get them from everywhere. Like you find them on the street. I mean, they're everywhere. I don't know. It, it was really just a honestly. Not you guys. Not you guys. It was for great. Um, I mean, we found this at Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, Coons Hardware. Furniture. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just yeah. I mean, it's just it, you know, I met Matt randomly, and then he introduced me to all the Arizona folks, and then of course, as you build the team, it just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And, Probably too big, honestly. But uh, anyways, and it was great. I mean, it was awesome. Yeah, not big enough. Yeah. So. Uh, let me see if I have any uh, questions out here. Anybody want to know how? Oh my! That's pretty good because the other films were like that. That one, got, that one way right there. Right. Uh, in the post-production process, um, this is more directed to the director and whoever edited it. What was the one scene or the one moment where you're like, okay, we got something? Because I know sometimes. You start off with a film in post production, you'd be like, oh my gosh, what can I do? What was that one scene where it's like, you know what, we got something, we got, we got a movie? You know, it, it was honestly every moment where uh, Marissa and Jenna, who played, uh, who played uh, uh, Marla, Marissa and Jenna, they are electric on screen. That very first cut, which any director would play, is the worst, the worst cut in any director's life. Those girls like showed me that it was a movie. I, I we'd, we'd put it in, we'd show it, and be like, ah, this, this is terrible, this is terrible, this is terrible. Those girls together was awesome. And those girls with uh, Paula Rhodes, who uh, who was here earlier, what they're uh, the redhead, the uh, uh, Agatha. Uh, their chemistry was electric, and that's what that's what made me realize it was a movie. And Alex Glover. <laughs> I know you had another question right there. I just totally want to know if this was based on truth. Was there any? Let me have the writer on that one. Um, it's all made up, unfortunately. Oh, Sorry. oh man. Yeah. I, I, wait, 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 wait a minute. Can, 
because you did have this kind of toxic sludge thing, so were you trying to make an environmental yeah. uh, oh, statement? Totally environmental. Yeah, back, what was that? Was that the oil spill? Was there an oil spill back in the day? It was right. Uh, well, there's Exxon, and I, I think this really, really came through to support um, uh, toxic waste dumps in every way possible. <laughs> it's a big eye opener, as we all need to have in this time of environmental catastrophes. You guys buy it? <laughs> uh, let's see. I think there was at least one. <laughs> there was at least another one out there. Was there? Um, a sequel. A sequel. Uh, uh, who would like to take this one? The producer. Uh, yeah, I've heard. I've heard. So there's a couple of sequel ideas. Let's run them. I want to pitch you guys these sequel ideas. <laughs> uh, number one, Dr. Lincoln's still alive, and he. Uh, oh, do you want? Do you, is, is it the time traveler? Yeah. No, Doc, Dr. Lincoln, the time traveler, because it's yeah. it's the scene where he leaves the bar and he says, "Stupid place, wrong, wrong place, wrong time." And he walks out. <laughs> Wrong time. This is a time travel. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, uh, Big Kahuna and Brandy in a prequel. Uh, they they drive around in like a mystery van solving crimes, like uh, <laughs> like like Scooby Doo. That's also. And then and then uh, and, and also just on a cruise ship. It would be fun to do one on a cruise ship. So the other option was uh, Love and Time Monsters Two: Cyborg Pirate Honeymoon, and it follows. Uh, <laughs> Carla and Johnny, they're actually getting married on a cruise ship, but it's attacked by cyborg pirates, and then la la la, and then <laughs> the whole adventure. <laughs> All right, we, uh, Allison is an alum from, uh, what, four or five years ago? But you still look 12, you know, but, so what was it like to work with old buddies and new buddies, and why? keep the, yeah, and why? why? Yeah, really, truly, why would you? <laughs> Uh, no, it was great. It really was kind of like a reunion for all of the people that, you know, we went to film school together um, after about eight or nine years being out in, you know, working in different parts of the industry. We all decided to kind of come back together and make this film, and it was it was like summer camp in, in good ways and bad ways <laughs> at the same time. It was, it was a lot of fun, lots of memories. And for you guys in here, I want to know what was a favorite moment on set for you? I was covered in poison oak from head to toe. <laughs> Yeah, and it was really a fun. <laughs> what was it? Real poison oak? It was legitimate poison oak. It was bad. Um, they took pictures for special effects <laughs> reasons. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 we don't talk about the door. I, I, I'm, I'm very sorry for you. That's all I can really say. Is I understand poison oak. So, for you? Uh, I but you weren't being the sex appeal. Well, it's tough. <laughs> Uh, it's tough when you're the sexiest man on set. Uh, but Offset, I don't I mean, you mentioned Allison. Uh, she's the most badass RV driver you've ever seen. We were on some tight mountain roads, and we had two RVs, and I forget who was driving the other one like a grandma. But Allison went after it, and I have video of me flying around the back of an RV across a bed. It was amazing. So I've loved that. That will be an experience you'll never forget, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> It was definitely my face being eaten off by Sasquatch. Zombie, <laughs> acid, vomit. That was a hell of a 5 a.m. Cold morning. A pleasant experience, I'm sure. <laughs> you know, me and Sad were like getting a terrible cough and pink eye, which was going around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pink eye. You guys sound like you run a dangerous set. <laughs> Yeah, you like shots before you go out. But, uh, I think my favorite moment maybe was attacking that girl with the squirrels. That was fun. <laughs> 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 go ahead, give me some moment of sanity that was in this set. There was none. Um, I mean, we don't, we are not exaggerating when we say it was like summer camp. And that we pretty much drove up to the middle of nowhere in a lodge and shot for almost a month straight. And we literally had vacations on the weekends. So we'd go on like family vacation yeah, to go see, <laughs> like we saw the caves up there. We went to go see Avengers as one big happy family. <laughs> yeah. and, and we all shared pink eye. So just pass it around. Uh, it was a dangerous set. Um, where did you guys shoot? Uh, I, I, I wanna do it. We should, oh yeah, I can't grab it. Control it. 
real quick before I say where we shot, I just want to say uh, Jeff here was the one who barked in Bill's mouth in face, and I remember that <laughs> night I, I was like, how did it go? And Bill's like, you know, there was a moment where we looked in each other's eyes and we really connected, and then he barked in my mouth. <laughs> Amazing. And it, you didn't, you didn't get a chance to answer, did you? Oh, no, no. I guess I barfed all over. <laughs> also barfed all over Crescent City. Uh, I got hit in the mouth with a football, and my lips swelled up uh, the size of like my face. So, you know, I'll put it on uh, Reddit for everyone. Yeah, seriously, I'll never work for you guys. <laughs> we protected the movie. We protected the movie. That's the, that's the trick. <laughs> Well, guys, you know what? It's almost 2 a.m. I would imagine that a great big round of applause for Pub.